hear the words I'm about to share with you each December as we dedicate infants and children. They bear repeating because the truth they speak is a cornerstone of our free faith. Sophia Lyon Foss wrote, For so the children come, and so they have been coming. Always in the same way they come, born of the seed of man and woman. No angels herald their beginnings. No prophets predict their future courses. No wise men see a star to show where to find the babe that will save humankind. Yet each night a child is born as a holy night. Fathers and mothers sitting beside their children's cribs feel glory at the sight of a new life beginning. They ask where and how will this new life end, or will it ever end? Each night a child is born as a holy night, a time for singing, a time for wondering, and a time for worshiping. The life of a child is both an awesome responsibility and wonderful gift. A child comes to us out of the mystery, and while we might influence that child by our example and teaching, a child's life unfolds in its own way. Today, parents bring their children to us so that we dedicate our efforts to help raise spiritually strong and healthy children. I invite the parents and the godparents with children to be dedicated to come forward now. While parents have the primary responsibility in raising their children, they bring them to us today in acknowledgement that their children are not merely their own, but are part of a larger community. As members of this church, we all share the privileged task of nurturing these children guiding them, teaching them, and loving them as they grow. We bless each child with a rose dipped in water. The rose symbolizes the unfolding and beauty of life. We have removed the thorns from the ro these roses, but we know that we cannot always remove them from our children's lives. The rose is a reminder that at its core, life is good. And when we encounter thorns of any kind, the church community is here to help and comfort. And the water is a symbol of the source of all life out of which we have come. It connects us to all generations and to all life. It is reminiscent to the water of baptism and commitment that for us does not cleanse an original sin, but rather enjoins a person with a community in love, forgiveness, and hope. It symbolizes the transformation we hope for each who is committed to our version of a life of faith and the receptivity of the spirit of love and life. So we ask you, parents who have brought children here to be dedicated, to state your commitment. Do you, who are the parents of these children, pledge your loyalty as you nurture them into adulthood? Do you vow to raise your children within faith, with faith, and as ethical and moral human beings? If so, say we will. We will. Let me ask, any families of these children to rise that are here. I speak now to you, the families and the godparents. You are charged now to guide these children in all matters of the spirit, to be there when their parents' wisdom falls short. To you, <laughs> which as a parent I can tell you happens every day. <laughs> Do you, the godparents and the families of these children, vow to guide these young hearts in ways of love and compassion, to teach them to live not only for their own good, but for the good of others? Do you vow to guide them in the ways of the world to face the challenges they meet? If so, say we do. Please be seated, family. If our visitors today will bear with us for a moment, I would like the members of our congregation and all children and youth in our programs who are present to please stand. For years to come, these young lives will be part of our community of mutual caring, concern, responsibility, and affection. Will you now welcome them into our church and pledge that by your example and your participation here, you will help create a community 
in which they can grow in stature and faith? Please answer, we will. April. <laughs> the Tardy family brings Zachary. They have told me that they want the teachings at home to be met elsewhere, and here they find coherence in what they are trying to imbue into their children. They want Zachary to find happiness, to be who he is, to be the person of compassion and kindness and service that they want him to be. They want him not to deal in absolutes, to witness that in a community such as ours. So we dedicate Zachary today. Will you say his full name? Zachary James Tardy, may your thoughts be wise, <laughs> may your lips be true, may your heart know love, may the work of your hands be blessed all the days of your life. <laughs> Another Zachary, right? We're only dedicating Zachary's today. <laughs> it's a special. <laughs> Liz and Mike Uber bring Zachary, their third child dedicated here. They want him to have a strong moral and ethical core. They want him to be open to listening to others, to be clear in his thinking, to know what is right. And they say that this place meets their values and principles and want it to model for their children what it means to be a person of faith. And the godparents here are Ryan and Ruth, yes? They are selected by Liz and Mike because you all are both open-minded and great listeners. You listen without judgment. That's what they said to me. And Ruth, you were chosen specially because your thoughtful and loving ways and that they know you will be enthusiastic in everything that Zachary does. So we bless this child now. Will you say his full name? Zachary Ross Huber. May your thoughts be wise. May your lips be true. May your heart know love. And may the work of your hands be blessed all the days of your Now, will you all please join in the blessing found in your order of service and the insert as we speak to these children. May you grow to love that which is good. May you seek and attain that good. May you learn to be gentle and respect all creatures. May you be filled with courage to challenge evil and the faith to lift up hope. May you endow those who know you with faith and hope. May you come to know that which is eternal. May it abide with you always. Amen. Okay, you may be seated. And one of these Zacharies is starring role soon, so I think you can see it. 